I think you're a definition of brains and beauty. Aww. You are the definition of black goddess. And, um, <laughs> you're a girl on fire. Oh my god. Guys, this is so freaking unbelievable. Unbelievable! <laughs> I am speechless, guys. J. Paul shook me. He shocked me. He shook me. That was the most unexpected move coming from J. Paul. I mean, I could expect anything from anybody else, any other male housemate in the Shire I mentioned, but definitely not from J. Paul. I mean, guys, the dude is just so unassuming. The fact that he was able to do something crazy to make Sasuke cry. Guys, oh my days. J. Paul deserves some accolades. Listen, I know a lot of you are confused right now. I understand. Yes, I am still amazed. I'm still surprised. But listen, watch till the end of this video as I spill to you all all the juicy details of what actually went down in the Shia Eye Mansion tonight. Because guys, J. Paul just won everybody's heart. All the housemates' heart, all the viewers' heart with just one single act of kindness and love towards Sasuke. <laughs> Day evening, J. Paul officially ended his romantic relationship or situationship with Sasuke. And you know, aside the overwhelming stress, the mental stress, the mental pressure of the house, Sasuke was crying over literally everything. You know, a, a triangle with um, um, J. Paul and Cross, everything was just too overwhelming for her. And so she was crying yesterday evening in the garden. and. I thought that Jay Paul, in his usual element, was going to go and console her, but then he started off on the rough and tumble mode first, with Jay Paul expressing his annoyance that she went to spend the night in Cross's bed, and that she was trying to be defensive, saying that she had no choice, you know, but to do it. And in my head, I'm thinking, Sasuke, did anybody tie your hands and your leg and drag you like a goat to go and sleep in Jay Paul's bed, um, in Cross's bed? Because that your excuse, it does not hold water at all. And so, guys, Jay Paul actually officially ended their situation she by telling her that you know what that he's gonna be fine he's just gonna have to cope and move on you know that she can go ahead and do what she wants to do but then much later in the evening it seemed as though j paul could not bear the sight of sasuke looking miserable and so he spent the most part of yesterday evening consoling sasuke they did not even join the other housemates in playing the truth of their game that was going on and then at night they spent the night together in the same bed now guys, fast forward to this morning. I was actually thinking that Jay Paul was gonna start implementing, you know, all his resolve of not being, um, should I say, romantically involved with Sasuke anymore. But no guys, I mean, they, they were still carrying on like they were a couple, like everything was fine, like everything was cool. And then I was kind of confused. Now guys, fast forward to today. Rest of today, we've seen Big Brother constantly calling J. Paul into the diary room. And so the housemates too had suspected that, come J. Paul, what is it with you and Big Brother today? Don't tell us you are also a fake housemate. You know, and J. Paul kept quiet and then before we knew it, he smiled into the diary room. And by the time he came out, dude came out like a knight in shiny armor with a bouquet of flowers. You are the definition of black goddess. Oh. Um, <laughs> you're a girl on fire. I mean, guys, everybody was shocked. I myself was shocked. And guess what? The beauty about his gift of flowers to Sasuke is the fact that he actually spent all his Abeg Naira, maybe not all anyways, but the most of all his Abeg Naira, just to purchase a bouquet of flowers for Sasuke. I mean, guys, who doesn't love flowers? Oh my God. Who oh, doesn't love flowers? My like, guys, I feel so I feel so emotional. I feel touched. <laughs> I mean guys, all the housemates, inclusive of Perel, like that likes for me, hard guy, hard guy. Everybody was really, really touched. It was so romantic, it was so sweet. And guess what? Sasuke was eating, I think, a ban soup. <laughs> They brought her flowers so she could not even act bougie herself. She still carried fish bone in her mouth. She was like, uh -uh, I still have bone in my mouth. <laughs> you know, guys, it was too funny, it was beautiful. But at the end of the day, I could understand Sasuke's shock 
um, shocked expression because was it not just last night that Jay Paul was talking about break up, giving her space, everybody move on with your life. Guys, I was really, really shocked. And guess what? Kyo Day is just so savage. Kyo Day, Kyo Day, there is God though. Guys, you won't believe what Kyo Day was doing. Whilst all the housemates, maybe not all, but the, almost all the housemates were gathered at the dining area during the, oh, 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 that's so sweet. And they were so loud. Cross was in the kitchen during the dishes and he was hearing everything that was happening. And guys, Kyo Day left the camera on him for a while because Kyo Day probably wanted us to see his reaction. Guys, Cross did not even turn his head around for one second. Like, dude, I felt like he was obviously feeling pissed or maybe in his feelings. <laughs> Guys, in the midst of all the oohs and ahs and ahs, one question that kept on reoccurring in my head was, is this going to change anything? about the way Sasuke feels towards Cross. Because guys, let's be very frank with one another. You see, uh, in as much as Sasuke is who she is, you know, we've established that she's actually playing a strategy, you know, double seeing or double dating or double flirting with the two guys. I mean, it's very, very obvious that on a normal day, she is more romantically attracted to Cross and not Jay Paul. I feel like she sees Jay Paul as a kind person, a companion that has her back. You know, but then you see that adventurous side of her, the, her alter ego, just call it her alter ego, is definitely drawn to cross. And so guys, the question of this video is, do you really think that Jay Paul breaking his bank to buy Sasuke a bouquet of flowers is really going to change anything about the way Sasuke feels towards Cross? Do you think it's going to bond them the more? Do you think it's going to allow Sasuke give him a chance for them to actually have an actual relationship, regardless of the fact that she actually has a real situation or relationship outside the house? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. Now, J. Paul's single romantic gesture also kind of reminded me um, of Neo from the lockdown season of Big Brother Niger. Yes, that happened last year. I mean, guys, Neo also broke his bank. Yes, like he used all his Betway Naira to purchase a bouquet of flowers and cake V on a birthday. And that kind of sealed their relationship and their bond from inside the house that guys to today, these two people are still dating. And recently V had a birthday and Neo literally went all out to buy a so many things in a van so guys i don't know is this supposed to be like a sign from the gods of love saying that hmm, these flowers just maybe just maybe might project their love relationship from the house to outside the house guys me i don't know i'm just trying to ask questions though so please just go ahead and let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below and i'll see you guys shortly have an amazing evening bye <laughs>